Hi again everybody, um, my name's Kim and uh, like I guess a lot of people here, uh, I am stuck inside my house, not traveling too far so I'm trying to find things that I can do to entertain my camera needs. Uh, I'm not shooting the usual things I shoot for obvious reasons, which is people and places. So I've put a little bit of product up here, my Fuji favorites. I've got my 18mm f2 and my 35mm 1.4 as well as my X-Pro2. Uh, I'm just going to clamp them all together and do a bit of focus stacking. Uh, the problem I've had is shooting at 140mm with the XF50-140 f2.8. Uh, I'm only getting about an inch, three few centimeters worth of depth of field, even at f8 on this lens. So uh, in order to get enough depth of field from the front to the back of the image, I'm going to have to stack several uh, layers of focus together to create one image that's completely in focus from the front to the back or almost. Uh, I'm going to do that in Capture One uh, initially and then export that to Photoshop to do the focus stacking. So I've got my tether cable connected to my X-T3. It's in a little cage here as we were shooting some video earlier with the kids. Uh, the 50 to 140 is here at f8 and 140 millimeter and i've got a it all lit by this uh, lovely uh, little godox 61 led and a couple of art cards or mounting board reflectors up here so kind of stuff you might have lying around at home okay maybe not the light but you can certainly make do with anything really to do this once you have a little bit of light for your camera uh, the camera's not moving it's on a tripod you could shoot it as long as you want i think i'm on about a one fourth of a second here Anyway, uh, let's pop over into the computer and use Capture One to control our camera, crack off a load of shots, get them into Photoshop and produce a stacked image. So here we are now at the computer. I have everything set up. I'm going to start my live view. I'm going to just select my focus tab here just so I make sure I've got accurate focus on Frontier. Let's start our live view up. That's looking pretty good. I think I've almost got it in focus there. It's a bit too far away. Just bring it back up here. So I've gone too far the other way. So I reckon that's in focus there. Okay, let's pause live view and take a shot and find out. Okay, so here it is. And yeah, I think that's there. That's in close enough for what we want to do here today. So I'm just going to repeat this step as I go down the camera. So I'll just move my focus point up to here, for example. Make sure I can get that nice and focused. Start live view. And that is further away. So I'm going to hit far here. Bring it a bit further still. Got a bit too far there. So I'll just bring it back to about there. Looks good. Hit pause and hit capture. And then we can see that has indeed captured that bit and this is now to focus so we can see the focus changing from the 18 mil lens here up towards fuji uh, the fuji film expert logo so i'm just going to continue doing that uh, down the camera at increments like that and that's a bit further away and i can just get that in focus there we are there and uh, i can pause live view and take a capture you see it pop in there and it's moved down again. So I've got X42 down. So I can see I need to go all the way down to here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll finish our files and bring them into Photoshop. Okay, so I've finished with the camera focus stacking. I have the images exported out of Capture One and I am now going to load them into Photoshop so I can blend them down and make one seamless image out of a lot. So if we go down into scripts from our files menu and we load our files into stack, can then browse to the location where our files are. Here they are here. I can select them all. And I'm going to open them into this box here. And that will load all my files in. Now I'm going to take attempt to automatically align source images. Uh, that's very important that you align them, whether you do it on the import or you can do it up from your edit tab. So it's just going to align the images now. And there we go. We have an image aligned. And you can see there was a little bit of movement from camera as I went up just to adjust a setting on it. So what you have to do now is very simply select all of the images that are in this stack here, go up into edit and as I've already aligned them I'm just going to blend them but instead of uh, blending a panorama I'm going to stack the images. I'm going to create seamless tones and colors and I'm just going to content where the edges because that'll do a all right job of 
uh, filling in the edges that it's missed. But if not, I can crop them out a little bit. It's not such a big deal. So we sit, hit OK. Um, we wait for Photoshop to finish and the magic can happen. And as you can see on this image here, we've got an 18 in focus, but the back of the camera is very much out of focus. And what we're hoping is we'll have perfect focus all the way across the image here. So here it goes. And there you can see it. Uh, let me just deselect that. And you can see, yeah, it's made a bit of a mess of the foreground here. But we'll probably crop that out anyway. So there you go. As we can see, if I zoom in here, we've got front in focus and trailing off nicely to the back, just out of focus there. So not too bad. Could have added maybe one more image at the back to make it perfect, but I think we can pretty much see everything there. All in all, very straightforward and pretty simple to do. But the big takeaway for me is that my room is dusty and I really need to clean my lenses more because that would take a lot of time to clean in post. <laughs> okay, well, that's it. Pretty straightforward. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.